Welcome to the world of uncertainty. Keenan Professor of Nursing, Dr. Merle Michelle, will be the theorist presented in this PowerPoint presentation. We'll explore education, accomplishments, why I chose her as my theorist, and give an explanation of her theory of uncertainty and illness. Exploring her theory further, a critique of the theory, how her theory has contributed to nursing and healthcare, and the link to the nursing profession will also be presented. In this slide, contact information on Dr. Merle, Merle Michelle is available along with her email and address if you would like to contact her for further information on her theory. Let the journey of uncertainty begin. She was born in 1939 in Boston, Massachusetts. Michelle began her educational journey in 1961 with a Bachelor's of Arts from Boston University. She furthered her education in 1966, earning a Master's of Science in Psychiatric Nursing, and in 1976, a Master's of Arts, both from the University of California. In 1988, she graduated with her doctorate in Social Psychology from Claremont Graduate School in Claremont, California. On June 11, 2011, Michelle was inducted into Sigma Theta Tau's International Nurse Researchers Hall of Fame. The NINR recognized her research and appointed her to the Nursing and Related Sciences Studies section. In July of 2011, Michelle was appointed as a permanent member of the Nursing and Related Clinical Sciences Studies section, Center for Scientific Review, the National Institute of Health. It was during Michelle's dissertation research she developed the uncertainty and illness theory and scale. The theory and scale will be explored further later in this presentation. Why I chose Dr. Merle Michelle as my theorist. After looking through and comparing what I feel is important in my own theory of nursing, I then asked myself what encompasses the patients and their families that I care for. I practice in a variety of healthcare settings, ranging from neonates to the elderly population. I have witnessed firsthand how patients and their families deal with acute and chronic health conditions. They are experiencing uncertainty and illness when faced with the unknown. They often have questions, what does this mean, what is the treatment plan, and where do I go from here? Applying Dr. Merle Michelle's uncertainty and illness theory in my nursing practice, I have gained new knowledge on interventions to aid in my patients' coping of uncertainty, thus improving on excellent theory-based care already being applied in practice. Your cancer is one to understand what uncertainty is, is and how the no patient and their can. family cope with the uncertainty, we will begin with a clip from the television series Parenthood. I know a wife, you're trying to make mother, and daughter okay is told for me. she has no, breast cancer. So much. I love you. As seen in the clip, uncertainty is how patients cognitively react when experience acute or chronic illness and the relationship on how it will affect their overall well-being. Nursing interventions must aid the patient in adapting and coping with this uncertainty. The patient uses these new coping mechanisms to return their lives to an acceptable state of being. Michelle developed the original theory of uncertainty and illness in 1988, then gained further knowledge on how patients dealt with uncertainty, not just in the acute illness, but also the chronic illness. She developed her reconceptualized theory in the 1990s. Her research focused on the diagnosis or treatment stage of the acute illness, those who recovered, and the patients who continued to live with chronic illness. Michelle's research found as the patient's health improves, the amount of uncertainty decreases, but if the illness returns, uncertainty is again experienced. Michelle went on to develop uncertainty and illness scales that address the ambiguity, complexity, inconsistency, and unpredictability when dealing with uncertainty. The theory also addressed three major structure providers, social support, education, and credible authorities that relate to how the patient will cope with uncertainty. This diagram displays the stages of uncertainty when a patient is experiencing an acute or chronic illness. Starting with the antecedents, move to the appraisal stage, then how will the patient cope? Does the patient interpret it as an opportunity or danger, leading to how they adapt to the uncertainty? To critique Michelle's theory, Chin and Kramer's model will be used. I will start with the theory description, 
the purpose, concepts, definitions, relationships, structure, and assumptions are used to describe the theory. This next clip is an interview with Dr. Merle Michelle to begin the critique process of her theory. After I had my doctorate, I did a variety of descriptive studies, and I was trying to get a handle on on really how uncertainty developed and what were the fact, what were the antecedents of uncertainty mm -hmm. and how, how could I begin to ferret those out. And so I selected populations that would give me some of that information. Like I did a qualitative study on people with lupus. I did another study with people with multiple sclerosis. I did another study uh, with uh, women with gynecological cancer. And I did three or four extramurally but community uh, funded studies mm -hmm. to get a handle on what were, the, what were the, some of these antecedents. The purpose of Michelle's theory, a middle range theory, was to focus on how patients cope, process, and the antecedents of uncertainty in acute or chronic illness. The theory goal was for nurses to recognize uncertainty in their patients and apply the appropriate interventions to guide them in effectively coping with, the new, with this new uncertainty. Michelle found that as uncertainty increases, the patient's perception of how to cope with their illness is altered, affecting how the patient manages uncertainty. Nurses play an important role in helping patients cope with this process. Michelle's research focused on the diagnosis and treatment stage of the acute illness, those who recovered, and the patients who continue to live with chronic illness. Through national funding, Michelle developed the Uncertainty and Illness Scale, or MUSE, in 1980, and the Uncertainty and Illness Theory, which she revised in the 1990s. Michelle used the concept of addressing the amount of uncertainty that patients experience during their acute or chronic illness. The MUSE is a tool designed to measure the patient's perception of uncertainty. It consists of 33 questions the patients are asked to answer by selecting if they agree or disagree. The MUSE also uses four subscales, ambiguity about the state of the illness, complexity about the treatment, inconsistency or information that changes often or not in accordance with the information originally presented, and the unpredictability. With the development of, this, of these scales, it supports that her theory is highly testable. The testability is measured with the use of supplemented research tools that enable quantitative data to be collected. The scales include the Adult Uncertainty and Illness Scale, the Adult and Uncertainty and Illness Scale, the Community Form, the Parents' Perception of Uncertainty and Illness Scale, and the Parents' Perception of Uncertainty and Illness Scale, the Family Form. This slide is a sample of the questions asked in the Adult Uncertainty and Illness Scale, the Community Form. The definition of the uncertainty and illness theory is defined by how the patients cognitively react when experiencing acute or chronic illness and a relationship on how it will affect their overall well-being. With support from nursing by incorporating appropriate interventions to aid the patient and their family to cope with the uncertainty, the quality of the patient's life is increased. The relationships present in Michelle's theory are between uncertainty and illness and how the patient adapts or interprets the uncertainty. The healthcare providers must be aware of the uncertainty and appropriate interventions are needed to guide the patient and their family in dealing with the uncertainty. Also, the relationship between the patient's ambiguity, complexity, inconsistency, and unpredictability affect how the, patients adapt, how the patient adapts to uncertainty. Their adaptations are also influenced by social support, education, and credible authorities. This. The structure of Michelle's theory was built with the use of the chaos theory model. Based on new knowledge, she presented a new model known as the reconceptualized theory. Michelle used research models from the psychology discipline that were already in use and reviewed the model's definitions of what uncertainty meant. Michelle incorporated the works of Lazarus and Folkman to develop the stress, appraisal, coping, and adaptation framework. The theory is composed of three primary components. The first component is the antecedents that cause the uncertainty. The next component is impaired ability to cognitively appraise the illness. The final component is the difficulty in coping with the uncertainty.
The theory incorporates three factors that influence how patients cope with uncertainty, education, social development, excuse me, social support, and credible authority. First, how educated is the patient and their family about the illness? Second, the available support system the patient has. And lastly, the credible authority, the amount of trust and assurance the patient has with their healthcare providers. Michelle felt the structure of the theory was unique by incorporating that uncertainty as a negative and positive cognitive state. The theory applied this framework of uncertainty as a stressor that occurs in illness. These aspects of uncertainty make the framework easily meaningful in nursing. When addressing the assumptions in Michelle's theory, the definition of uncertainty must be understood. As stated earlier, uncertainty is a cognitive state signifying the lack of existing cognitive plan to help support the understanding of illness-related events. How a patient responds to uncertainty is experienced in an impartial manner. It is neither necessary nor unnecessary until it is perceived to be as such. The patient's ambiguity, complexity, inconsistency, and unpredictability, along with social support, education, and credible authorities, affect their adaptation to an individual's usual behavior. These factors also influence the patient's desired coping efforts to either decrease uncertainty perceived as danger or maintain uncertainty appraised as opportunity. Patients need the time available to focus on self. If this time is not made available, the process of incorporating the uncertainty into their personal view of life will be hindered from occurring. Continuing critiquing Michelle's, Michelle's theory, I will discuss the critical reflection of the theory by addressing the clarity, simplicity, journalizability, accessibility, and importance. The clarity in this theory is easily understood even with the wide range of events that affect uncertainty in a patient's illness. The model is easily interpreted into clinical and research practice. The uncertainty and illness scale has been used in 30 countries around the world and translated into 15 different languages. The simplicity of the theory of uncertainty is concise and the definitions are clear and simple. The complete model is easily applied and used in practice and research. When reviewing uncertainty, it can be difficult since there are many factors that affect a patient's uncertainty. Through the use of uncertainty of illness scale, and by applying the theory in practice, it aids in decreasing the level of difficulty. The generality of Michelle's theory is illustrated in many areas of nursing practice that theory can be easily applied. This is supported by the wide range use of the theory. Many healthcare professionals have applied it to acute or chronic illnesses such as cancer, cardiac disease, and trauma injury. They concluded the uncertainty and illness theory is appropriately used in their study. In the United States and around the world, the theory has been applied to a variety of research studies. The accessibility of this theory shows that uncertainties are occurrences that patients experience. The theory helps in locating what areas of the illness may be causing the uncertainty in the patient. Michelle's theory has an attainable goal to increase coping mechanisms for the patients so they are able to become more competent and find comfort and less uncertainty. For healthcare professionals, the theory gives guidance for better interaction and care for their patients. This is achieved by educating the patient on their illness based on why or how the illness began, how it will progress, and how the patient can recover. The importance of the theory is supported by how it aids nurses and other healthcare specialties by gaining new knowledge in how uncertainty affects the care and outcome of the patient's health. Changes in practice have occurred as a result of research studies that incorporated Michelle's theory. The importance of the theory's focus in alleviating the patient's uncertainty in illness by determining better outcomes for the patients. The theory achieves this through the use of MUSE to guide the healthcare team in understanding and recognizing what their patients view as uncertainty. Also, the interventions needed to help alleviate and develop better coping mechanisms to deal with uncertainty. Michelle's contribution to nursing and healthcare will be addressed in this next slide. Michelle was able to attain national funding for research and development of her theory. The theory's framework has been applied in several other research studies around the world and translated in several different languages.
Her theory helped not only nurses, but other healthcare specialties gain new knowledge in how uncertainty affects the, the care and the outcomes of the patient's health. Changes in practice have occurred as a result of research done using her theory. A goal of uncertainty theory is to increase the knowledge of the patient so they be become more competent in coping with their illness. Incorporating this goal into nursing, the, into nursing practice, the, health, the nurse is able to educate the patient on their illness, aiding in alleviating the uncertainty they are experiencing. Michelle's accomplishment in her research and contributions to, nursing, to the nursing profession led to her induction into the Sigma Theta Tau International Nurse Research Hall of Fame in 2011. She was also made a permanent member of the Nursing and Related Clinical Sciences Study Section. This next clip is Dr. Merle Michelle describing her concerns of the theory use in nursing and how she would like to see theories used nursing, today and in the future. And that is that we don't often, we don't use theories enough. And so I guess I would like to see people using the theory more, building on the theory trying to see different ways in which it can apply. What places can it apply? Knowledge attained from Michelle's theory, nurses are able to interact and care for the patients by educating them on the why and how the illness began, how it will progress, and how the patient can recover. Nurses address the patient's feelings of uncertainty using the approach of changing the patient's thought process from an orientation to control and predict, towards an acceptance of unpredictability and uncertainty as normal. Nurses alleviate uncertainty patients experience, incorporating the theory by educating the patient and their families. From this new knowledge, gain from this new knowledge gain, patients will become more competent. The nurse is able to help the patient and their families construct a framework for future uncertainties. The nurse also helps the patient create new ways of coping if the illness would reoccur or if the chronic illness would advance further. Reflecting on the overall summary of the uncertainty and illness theory, the goal is to alleviate uncertainty in patients by getting the healthcare team on appropriate interventions to decrease the patient's level of uncertainty. The theory explains the phenomenon and how patients construct meaning for acute and chronic illness. With uncertainty representing the absence of meaning, the framework of the theory represents the concepts and how they relate to each other as the basis for theoretical and empirical material. The theory is constructed around three major themes, the antecedents of uncertainty, the process of uncertainty, appraisal, and the coping with uncertainty. The theory has been widely used across the world and is easily applied in nursing practice. From the new knowledge you have gained from my presentation, I hope it aids in your understanding on how to address uncertainty in your nursing practice. Thank you. Such a waste I can't see